The first video that I made on this channel about basketball was about the top five draft classes of all time. Today, we're going to be doing the same sort of concept, but we're going to be doing the top five overlooked draft classes of all time. As always, if you have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments below, and you might be responsible for the next video I make. Now, on to the list. The number four overlooked draft class of all time is the 1989 NBA Draft. This draft is not very top-heavy, but is very deep, having players like Tim Hardaway going at the 14th pick. Tim Hardaway was a five-time All-Star and a five-time All-NBA player, and he may be inducted into the Hall of Fame soon. A player like Sean Kemp got taken at pick number 17, who is a six-time All-Star and three-time All-NBA player. Some players at the top of this draft are like Sean Elliott, a two-time All-Star and one-time NBA champion. At the fourth pick was Glenn Rice, who was a three-time All-Star, a two-time All-NBA player, and a one-time NBA champion. There are also some great role players in this draft. Players like Dana Barrows, who was drafted at number 16, B.J. Armstrong, who was drafted at number 18, Nick Anderson, who was drafted at number 11, and Doug West, who was, who was drafted at pick number 38. Some other players in this draft include Vladi Divac, who was drafted with the 26th pick. He is a one-time All-Star and a Hall of Famer. With the 36th pick, the Blazers got Clifford Robinson, and he is a one-time All-Star, a two-time All-Defensive team, and a one-time Sixth Man of the Year. The reason why this draft class might be overlooked is because there's not as many Hall of Famers and flashy players as there are great players and All-Stars and All-NBA type players. All in all, this draft was great and produced seven All-Stars, three All-NBA players, and one Hall of Famer. The number three overlooked draft class of all time is the 1994 NBA Draft. This draft had many great players, including one of the greatest top three picks of all time. Unlike the 1989 draft, this draft was very top-heavy and wasn't very deep. At the number one pick, the Bucks drafted Glenn Robinson out of Purdue, who was a two-time All-Star and one-time NBA champion. At the number two pick, the Dallas Mavericks selected Jason Kidd, who you might know. Jason Kidd is a ten-time All-Star, a nine-time All-Defensive player, a six-time All-NBA player, a five-time Assist champion, and a 1994-1995 Rookie of the Year, and a Hall of Famer. With the third pick, the Pistons drafted Grant Hill, who, was, who turned out to be a seven-time All-Star, a five-time All-NBA player, a Rookie of the Year, Jason Kidd and Grant Hill tied, and the Hall of Famer. At the fifth pick, you had a player like Jawan Howard, who was a one-time All-Star and a one-time All-NBA player. Then you had a player like Eddie Jones, who was a three-time All-Star, a one-time All-NBA player, a three-time All-Defensive player, and a one-time Stealing Champion. This draft class also had many great role players like Brian Grant, Aaron McKee, and Charlie Ward. In this draft class, there was also Jalen Rhodes with the 13th pick, who was one of the greatest players to not make an All-Star game. This draft may be overlooked, but it is loaded with talent, making five All-Stars, five All-NBA players, two Hall of Famers, and two All-Defensive players. The number two overlooked draft class of all time is the 1986 NBA Draft. This draft has a little bit of everything. It is very deep and is very top-heavy as well. At pick number one, you had a player like Brad Doherty, who is a five-time All-Star and one-time All-NBA player. At the fourth pick, you had Chuck Person, who won the Rookie of the Year that year. And then at the eighth pick, you had Ron Harper, who is a five-time NBA champion and is also one of the greatest players to not make an All-Star team. At pick 15, you had Del Curry, who won a Sixth Man of the Year. And then at pick 22, you had Scott Skiles, who set the record for assists in a game and won Most Improved Player. Then, here's where it gets interesting. At pick 24, you had Arvita Sabonis, who was a Hall of Famer because of his performance in the Olympics. Then at pick 25, you had Mark Price, who was a four-time All-Star and an All-NBA player. And at pick 27, you had Dennis Rodman, who was a two-time All-Star, a five-time NBA cha champion, an eight-time All-Defensive player, a two-time Defensive Player of the Year, a seven-time Rebounding Champion, and a Hall of Famer. After that, you still had great players like Kevin Duckworth, who was a two-time All-Star and a Most Improved Player, 
Jeff Hornacek, who was also a one-time All-Star and a two-time NBA three-point contest champion. And then at the back of the draft, you had Drazen Petrovic, who is a Hall of Famer and a one-time All-NBA player and one-time All-Star. The thing that sets this draft class back is that there have been many players in this draft class that have ended their careers early. Players like Drazen Petrovic, Dino Raja, and sadly, Len Bias. All of these players were great when they played, but sometimes injuries and even death can slow them down. Even with those complications, this draft class managed to pull out six All-Stars, three All-NBA players, and three Hall of Famers. Now, the number one overlooked draft class of all time has to be, by far, the 1987 NBA draft class. This draft had all the stars in the world. At the first pick, you had David Robinson, who is a Hall of Famer, a 10-time All-Star, a one-time scoring champion, block champion, defense player of the year, MVP, and rookie of the year, and rebounding champion. He is also a 10-time All-NBA player, an 8-time All-Defensive player, and a 2-time NBA champion. At pick 5, you had a player like Scottie Pippen, who was a 7-time All-Star, a 6-time NBA champion, and a 7-time All-NBA player, a 10-time All-Defensive player, a 1-time Steel champion, and a Hall of Famer. At pick 6, you had Kenny the Jet Smith, who was a 2-time NBA champion. At pick 7, you had Kevin Johnson, who is one of the greatest point guards of all time and is a 3-time All-Star, 5-time All-NBA player, and a, a Most Improved player. At pick 10, you had Horace Grant, who is a one-time NBA All-Star, a four-time champion, and a four-time All-Defensive player. And then at pick 11, you had Reggie Miller, who is a five-time All-Star and three-time All-NBA player. At pick 12, you had Muggsy Bogues, who is the shortest point guard of all time. And then at pick number 18, you have Mark Jackson, who is a one-time All-Star and a third-time in assists. He also won Rookie of the Year that year. One astounding fact about this draft class is that 10 of the first 11 picks in this draft class averaged 10 or more points per game throughout their entire career. After this, this draft class cannot be overlooked anymore because it has produced 7 All-Stars, 4 All-NBA players, 3 Hall of Famers, 3 All-Defensive players, and an MVP. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and please make sure to leave your comments down below. I really want to hear your suggestions, and I need to hear them so I can make more videos.